praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus my dear sisters and brothers today we heard from the gospel of saint john chapter 1 verses 29 onwards that john the baptist is revealing jesus to the whole world and saying this is the lamb of god who takes away the sins of the whole world and we see before this passage the representatives pharisees and the priests came to john the baptist asking who are he who was he and he said they were asking you are the messiah then he said he is the, not the messiah then one of the prophet then he said he is not the prophet then he just said that he was the voice he was the voice in the wilderness as the book of prophet isaiah prophesied my dear sisters and brother then he is revealing jesus like this he is the lamb of god lamb of god who takes away the sins of the world and we know that john the baptist is a son of a priest and the priest sakaraya and he is very much familiar about the uh, sacrifices and the offering that we do in the jerusalem jerusalem temple and the people of israel they had different sacrifices in the temple for the remission of sins for their prosperity they were having different sacrifices in a way shedding blood of these animals and here john the baptist is saying that he is the one who takes away the sins of the world that is jesus the messiah and he is revealing jesus the messiah to the whole world my dear brothers and sisters today the past says the gospel the scripture speaks to each one of us our duty is to reveal jesus to the whole world today's passage is asking to every one of us how you are revealing jesus to the whole world my dear brothers and sisters as christians as follower of christ it is our prime duty to, duty to reveal jesus to the whole world wherever we are the word of god says like this first corinthians chapter 9 verse 16 first corinthians chapter 9 verse 16 the word of god says like this saint paul speaks if i proclaim the gospel this gives no ground of for boasting and the word of god says for an obligation is laid on me and woe to me if i don't if i do not proclaim the gospel my dear sisters and brothers as christians it is our prime duty to proclaim the good news to proclaim the proclaim the gospel to the whole world and how we have to proclaim again the word of god says how we have to proclaim the good news proclaim the gospel proclaim jesus reveal jesus to the whole world the word of god says like this saint john chapter 17 verses 21 saint john chapter 17 verses 21 we read like this that they may all be one and the word of god says as you father are in me and i am in you may they also be in us so that the world may believe that you have sent me my dear sisters and brothers when there is unity is there through our life we have to proclaim through our life we have to proclaim jesus in our day to day life again the word of god says like this saint john chapter 13 verse 35 saint john chapter 13 verse 35 the word of god says like this by this everyone will know that you are my disciples how if you have love for one another my dear sisters and brothers in today's world people trust more than preaching their life example their life example it is our duty to proclaim jesus in our day to day life through our like life example in the family in the society in the parish wherever we are we have to proclaim jesus we have to reveal jesus in our day to day life and how john the baptist could reveal jesus we read the word of god how he could understand how he could understand jesus and how he was able to reveal jesus the word of god we read saint john chapter 1 verse 32 on verse saint john chapter 1 verse 32 on verse we read like this and john testified i saw the spirit descending from heaven like a dove and it remained on him 
then 33 we read and i myself did not know him that means john the baptist was not knowing jesus before but when he came to know and he was able to reveal jesus but the one who sent me to baptize with the water said to me he on whom you see the spirit the spirit descend and remain is the one who baptizes with the holy spirit but this is just some brothers with the help of the holy spirit only john the baptist was able to reveal jesus in our day to day life we have to reveal jesus how it is possible it is possible if you are filled with the power of the holy spirit the power of the holy spirit when we are filled with the power of the holy spirit what happens as we know we all are created in the image and likeness of god we all are created in the image and likeness of god and who is god the word of god says god is love god is love and when we are create as we as we know that we all are created in the image and likeness of god and god is love means if wherever we live in the family or in the society in the parish we must become an instrument of love an instrument of love when we all are filled with the power of the holy spirit what happens the power of love the love that overflows in our from our heart when we are filled with the power of the holy spirit the love overflows from our heart and the love overflows and we are able to love everyone and my dear sisters some brothers the word of god said it is not just by your name should not be identified is a christian or the wearing ornaments or the rosary or your dress code it is not that the sign of you are a christian how it has to be understood the word of god said it is through our love through our love my dear sisters and brothers let us re uh, reflect upon ourselves examine our life how i am revealing jesus in our day to day life how i am revealing jesus in my day to day life in the family as a husband as a wife i as a daughter as a son or wherever you are how i am revealing jesus in my day to day life let us ask this grace jesus give me the grace to become a true disciple through my compassion through my love through my gentleness through the power of the holy spirit jesus let me reveal you those who are around me those in the world and the parish the society wherever i am let us ask this grace in this holy mass and we pray